things and then some macro scale things. We've got some fog. We've got some lake effect out there. But we've also got an area of high pressure, that macro scale thing that's going to be coming on in. It's going to be warming us up for the weekend. Not now for sure. It's chilly and it's cool this afternoon. Below average 63. The typical high you see there 67 degrees. But we go above average tomorrow 74 three days in a row. And in fact, I think we're going to do 70 or better 67 on Tuesday, but we could see more 70s down the road. Let's take a look at our next weather maker. Finally, the low pressure systems moved away, but still cool air crossing Lake Ontario. You can't count out that lake effect. You know, in the winter when the models are showing us with sunshine and you get the lake clouds and the snow. Now it's not really cold air, but it's enough that we've got cloud cover southeast of the lake. Narrow coming into the Syracuse Onondaga County area, Madison, northern Shenango, going up near the lake. Maybe a spotty sprinkle. At least it's not snow. Can't complain about that. High pressure is building in though, and I think this October 1st turns sunny and eventually warmer for the second day. This warm front though, it's going to be sliding through Ontario, Canada. It could give some clouds as well as showers as we go towards tomorrow for Jefferson Lewis, Northern Herkimer County. We'll share that in our future cast. So breaking down the lake effect pattern, southeast of the lake, partly sunny to mostly cloudy to start. It'll be brighter east of the lake. Now these spotty sprinkles will be coming to an end during the afternoon. 4 o'clock, sunshine, mix of sun and clouds. All of us end up the day mostly sunny. Great for Friday evening football. It'll be cool, though. The temperature drops quickly. Another cool night before we warm up tomorrow as the winds shift to more southerly, picking up to 5 to 15 miles per hour. A bit breezy in the afternoon tomorrow. Here's some of those showers I'm talking about. Far north, northeast of Onondaga County. We're partly sunny. A beautiful day through the Finger Lakes to see a bit of a hue in the leaves. Now, if you're going up to the Adirondacks, the high peaks where it is peak peck, it is at peak, they are going to see more showers tomorrow. Early Sunday, partly sunny, and then we'll watch a cold front start to try to move this way. And I do think we get some rounds of showers on Sunday, not a complete washout, but maybe even a thunderstorm towards the evening and more wet weather at times on Monday. Today, it's mostly dry, just an isolated shower or two tapering off as we go through the afternoon. It turns sunny to end and pleasant 63. 74 for tomorrow, then the wind dies down on Sunday. 74 and mild with partial sunshine. It turns humid by the end of the Sunday. There will be some showers. Hours developing in the morning and midday on Sunday. Still some breaks of sun possible. Then it's pretty overcast on Monday with scattered showers and thunderstorms. Lots of humidity, 73, 67 for a pair of days. There's my pick day. Sunshine and 71 next Thursday. CMY Central 